What is up guys, Adam here, and I am here with the 5.1 release of the Fossil and Archaeology mod for Minecraft, and yeah, got some pretty cool changes here, I'm pretty excited, let's just go over them. So all these ones right here can only be obtained through creative mode right now, but uh, gives us some excitement for the future. So first we're starting off with the Amber Ore, that's pretty cool, another ore in the game. I'm kind of curious what it's going to be used for, just a guess. I'm guessing it has something to do with the ancient glass here. It's yellow, but uh, that could that's just a guess. These could be spawned in new structures, which that would be cool, but yeah. So, right now it doesn't drop anything, especially because I'm in creative mode. But uh, even if I was in survival, it still wouldn't drop anything. Next we have the ancient stone here, which... I think is really cool. It's a nice looking block. It kind of re reminds me of clay, but uh, yeah, that's all we have there. Next we have the ancient wood pillar, which has an interesting property I realized. So it has these stripes going up like this, but then when you start going sideways, the block still like it's pointing this way, but the wood grain still goes up and down. Which is an interesting thing, because now if I do stuff like this, the grain always still goes up and down. So, I don't know if that's supposed to happen like that, but it is kind of cool, to be honest. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Dang it. Alright, perfect. So yeah, wooden pillars, and then also we have the ancient wood. So this might indicate that we have a new kind of wood coming instead of just the Pally, Daffy, Padaphily, Palafala Daffy tree, <laughs> whatever that is. So that'll be cool. Um, next we have our ancient stone bricks, which are very nice. I like the, I like just the overall kind of rustic look of all the stuff in this game. It's, or in this mod very nice. So yeah, these look like they'll probably spawn in some sort of structure, which will be cool. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, and then we have the ancient glass, which you saw. So, this is nice. It's just glass, except it has this kind of goldish red border. Kind of fits in with the whole reddish theme of like the time machine and uh, the gems, the scarab gems. So that's really cool going all with the ancient culture. And then we also have these ancient wooden plates which initially when I just read wooden plate I thought pressure plate but I don't think they are. I think they're more just kind of like like the new carpeting in 1.6. I think it's more like that. So that's pretty cool. Now these weren't mentioned in the update on the wiki, but they're not they're not on the wiki, on the forum, but they're not on the wiki, so I'm going to go over them anyways. We have volcanic ash, volcanic rock, and volcanic brick, which suggests that volcanoes are going to be in the game, which is really, really cool. But yeah, they all look really nice. I really like when you hit the ash, the particles go up. That That's really cool. Yeah, and these bricks, this is a really nice looking block. I can definitely, that's a building block right there. Other things, um, your fern seeds now say fern seeds. So that's nice. Now there's no like, glitchy weirdness. I was just checking, checking out the time machine. I don't know if they've done any more work on it. I was just sticking things that I thought probably you're gonna stick in there. Because since scarab gems are so hard to find, and then relic scraps kind of went more with the time machine motif than like biofossils or something, so that's that. Another change is the texture on the Sabledon <laughs> saber tooth tiger was fixed, so that's nice. He is he is ready to kill. And I was just messing around with the hoppers, and I don't think they're fully in feature yet, but I found out some weird properties of them. So, ah, oh, dang it. Not what I wanted to happen. One second. Alright, so, 
typically as you would expect. If I put that in there and that in here, these are going to go into the hoppers, but they get stuck in the hoppers then. But if I take these and put them directly in the cultivator or the analyzer, they will fall down. See? Which is kind of opposite. Like, we don't want this to fall down, we want this to fall down. It's interesting that the eggs aren't falling down. They were falling down earlier. So yeah, that's... Oh, now they're going down. So yeah, and it's the same with the analyzer, too. If I, uh... Want to stop? There we go. I just... Throw these in here. They go down this craziness, which... I don't know why I did it like that, but they will not go into the hopper or the analyzer. But if I stick them in the analyzer, they will fall down from here. They'll also fall down from here, which is cool, but they have to stay down, stay in there long enough. So, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe they're working on it. Hopefully they are, because hopper compatibility would be awesome. So yeah, that's about it. I wasn't sure if these particles were earlier in the tar pit, but I really like them. They're kind of nice. But yeah. Alright. Leave buttons and comments, or press buttons and leave comments if you so choose. Have a great day. I'm Adam. Peace off. And if you're just really feeling it today, feel free to click on any of these buttons to go to my Let's Play, or... That, that's really all I got. I just got the Let's Play. I mean, we can play. Let's play. Let's play together. In here.